as the demographic is getting, you know, we're getting older and more people are, are older, living longer. So I think it's really important when we're looking at cancer in the elderly that we look at comprehensive geriatric assessment from the beginning. We look at people's comorbidities. We look at the way that cancer lives within an older body, if it's the same or if it's different to a younger body. At the moment, we treat everybody the same. And, and it's not surprising that, that, that some older people don't do very well. So it would be about looking at the whole person much more so, looking at modifying treatments but still getting good results, looking at the metabolism of the body and the immunology, the way that the body behaves, if you like, and the molecular structure behaves, and then responding accordingly to that. I think the way that we treat them could be adapted, but I also think that we don't know enough about older persons' metabolism, older, the way that older cells behave, whether it's the same or different. At the moment, we look at cancer, we look at molecular pathology, we look at immunology, but it's thick. My understanding is that it's all the same. So I think that would be a really good focus for going forward. Of course, the other thing is that a lot of us that have been in cancer care are getting older, so it would be really important, I think, to, to look at the older generation. So I think it is really important. The, the advances in technology, the advances in science, and in cancer science at the moment, is really exciting and really dynamic. So we're having new treatments each you know, day by day. But what's important is that we look at how people live with those treatments and we consider ways in which we can help people to live better. The other side of it is about giving people their own power to, to be able to manage and co-manage their, their disease and their condition with the health professionals. Very often somebody knows how they can cope with particular symptoms. So in a way by working together it means that you know, we get the best out of both. Really. But I suppose for me, I, I think it's really important to not just look at research, but look at how that research is translated and makes a difference to patient care and patients' lives.